how to duplicate succulents. I'm just letting you know that there are a lot of ways to do this. So today, I'm just gonna share with you my way that's worked for me for quite a while and I thought, why not? It's super easy, anyone can do it, so let's get started. There are many different types of succulents, so there are a couple different ways to take cuttings. There are the kinds that you cut and the kinds that you just take the leaf off. So I'll show you how. All right, so as you can see, this succulent here needs a little cleanup and it needs to be bumped up into a larger pot, starting to outgrow this one. Uh, with the ones that I have more of like the succulent, really lush succulent leaves, I actually use the leaves as a cutting. I don't go and cut the top, which you can, but then you only get one cutting rather than multiple cuttings from all of these wonderful leaves. And then you have the varieties that aren't as um, succulent of a leaf and it's more airier, um, like this one and this one where they've got multiple shoots on them. So these ones you can actually cut off and I'll show you that as well. So with this one, like I said, it needs to be clean, but um, what you wanna do, it's so simple, is just, you want to go in there and just use your thumb and push down very lightly, almost like a little button. And that's what you get. You wanna make sure it has the actual curve still on it there in the shape of where it was placed on the plant. What you don't wanna do is just pull it off Luckily, this one actually pulled off the right way, but normally they'll just kind of snap off. Um, so you don't want to snap it off. You really just want this curved shape here. Now do you want to know how easy this is? Let me show you. So in the bright hot sun, I have this bowl where I laid a lot of other leaves. These are many leaves that I actually took off of a plant, just like I showed you and laid them in here in this little uh, bowl here. Placed them in the full hot sun. And one month later, if you notice, there's all kinds of little succulents. Look how amazing that is. Now I'm gonna show you what I do with them next. The next step requires either a larger size cell seedling tray or individual pots. And you're gonna wanna fill that with some soil. For me, what works for me when starting is using a citrus soil intermixed with a potting soil. And when I mix those together, I put them into the tray and I make sure to water them so I start off with a wet soil first. All you have to do then is grab these guys because they already have roots on them and just lay them right on top. And all I do is just go like that a little bit. Grab another one. I'm gonna put it right here. And all I do is just push down a little bit. And that's it, you guys. It's that simple. Grabbed another one. I'm just gonna place it right there. The roots on these will actually find their way into this, the moisture. That's why I start off with a wet soil so that way I don't have to go and water over top. They can just go ahead and find their way right into that soil and then eventually we just have a perfect succulent. Now with this style of succulent, the kind that does not have a succulent of a leaf here, it's more airy. So with this, I just go ahead and you can cut anywhere. So I usually cut three. I put them together. I come over here and make a small little hole and I place them in there like that. And there you go, you'll have another succulent. Another example of cutting is right here, another plant. And we just go in and you know, you just cut the little tips. I put them all together like a little bundle. I go over here and make just a little hole. Go in there. When I put them in, I kind of push down so the soil kind of pushes down around it. And there you go. Right now I don't worry about really covering the roots. I kind of place it and push it down just a little bit. But for now, I let it kind of just lay there and allow the roots to find the moisture. The next time it starts looking dry, I go ahead and I lightly glaze it with just a little water 
the dirt actually naturally just falls on top of the root. So that's why in the beginning I really don't worry about it too much. The new leaves that I just took off, then those get put into the bowl, which I'm gonna take a few more today. And then we're gonna just go over here and place them in the bright sunny window. And I just check them every once in a while because I'm nosy and curious to see what's going on in that bowl up there. And a lot of times I just end up with a really good surprise. So as they start getting a little succulent on, on that leaf, then I go ahead and I add them on to the succulent tray. Now the last step is just to place it in front of a sunny window. It's that easy. <laughs> Thank you so much, you guys. Have an awesome day.